What's up? This is Sergio with the Gospel Truth, but I wanted to title this devotional, What are the Characteristics of True Believers? Um, but it says in uh, Ephesians 1.19, God wants all believers to comprehend and come to the knowledge of what Jesus has done for them on the cross, and also to understand that the same Spirit that lives in Christ now lives in us. It says in Ephesians 1.20 that God has placed us in Christ Jesus far above all principalities, powers, and rulers of darkness. But um, there's six characteristics of a true believer. I wanted to go over those. But it says, number But number one, true believers have been delivered from a life. Uh, true believers have been delivered from spiritual darkness. Uh, before we come to know Christ, we're all spiritually dead. Ephesians 2.1. But uh, as soon as we accept Christ... We come to the knowledge and understand the things of God, 1 Corinthians 2.14. As opposed to unbelievers, uh, they can't comprehend um, the things of God because they don't have His Holy Spirit. But we do. Uh, they can't comprehend the cross. Uh, to them, it's foolishness. But we know as believers that it's the power of God for, un for us to salvation. Um, we understand as believers what the uh, what, um, cross means. We understand angels and demons and uh, Satan and uh, God and Jesus we understand all of that as opposed to the world that doesn't because they're spiritually dead as they don't have God's Holy Spirit number two true believers have been delivered from a life of disobedience as believers we have been delivered from a life of sin from Satan's slavery Ephesians 2 2 3 um, did you know that uh, Unbelievers are called children of disobedience and why are they call children of disobedience because Satan is their father and he has disobeyed God and all his doings um, Believers are now um, Slaves of righteousness. It says in Psalm 23 that uh, God leads us, leads us in paths, paths of righteousness um, Believers are uh, have the fruits of the Spirit and they go by the Spirit as opposed to unbelievers. They work um, mostly in their, their flesh all the time. And these are the fruits, I mean, yeah, the fruits are the works of the flesh. Anger, envy, lust, uh, hatred, uh, drunkenness, idolatry, witchcraft, trying to control people uh, through uh, evil actions, um, through darkness. Uh, also, um, adultery, fornication, living in sin, uh, having, in other words, having sex with people that you're not married to, uh, living with people uh, you're not married to, you're uh, living in uh, fornication, and um, the Bible says, God, uh, we will not, uh, those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Um, in other words, the believer sees sin and flees as the unbelief, but as the unbeliever sees sins and get, get gets enticed with it. The um, believer understands the consequences of sin and the non-believer doesn't really care because they can't comprehend. Uh, they just want to have fun. They don't care about sin. Uh, number three, uh, true believers have been delivered from wrath. Uh, believers have been set free from uh, the coming judgment that will be come to this world when Christ comes back. Ephesians 2, 3. We've been delivered from hell and darkness. and uh, um, We've been delivered from the wrath of God because Jesus Christ died for us on the cross. And as soon as we accept that, we, we have God's, uh, God's forgiveness and his wrath is not against us. In other words, there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Romans uh, 1, 17. Uh, we have a justification now through Christ. We're no longer being judged. And, um, in other words, God sees us now as uh, Christ. Uh, Christ is our new identity. It says uh, in the Bible that we have been crucified. It's no longer us, but Christ who lives in us. And uh, why does God see us, right, see us righteous? Because when Christ died for, us on, died for us on the cross, His blood is holy and righteous. And uh, God attributes tributes his righteousness to our account uh says in second corinthians 5 21 that he who knew no sin became sin that we might become the righteousness of god number four true believers can now have experience uh, a spiritual resurrection uh what does that mean it means believers now have the fruits of the spirit uh, Ephesians, uh galatians 5 22 to 23 we now can experience the fruits of the Spirit. And the fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, uh, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. Uh, in other words, believers have these fruits at all times as opposed to the, those that don't know Christ. They work in the flesh, as I mentioned earlier. Um, 
we experience God's love and we can share uh, love with others. Uh, a true uh, believer has uh, the attributes of love because God is love. And uh, you can know a true believer by their love for one another. Uh, it says that um, believers also want to uh, see others saved and come to the knowledge of Christ. Uh, in other words, uh, a true believer shows love at all times for the saved and un unsaved. Uh, number five, true believers have been united to Christ. Uh, believers have been united with Jesus, Ephesians 2, 4 to 3. Um, we have the mind of Christ. We now have the mind of Christ as we are heirs of Christ, which means everything belong that belongs to him belongs to us. We now have the attributes of Christ in us. We're not trying to become like Christ. We are like Christ. Uh, we are now seated with Jesus, Ephesians 2, 6. Uh, number six, uh, true believers will glorify God's grace in the coming ages. Uh, what is heaven going to be all about? It's going to be about um, us praising Jesus that we're there because of what, he done, what he's done for us on the cross that we got there. Not because anything we anything we could ever do, but because of what Christ did for us on the cross. Ephesians 2, uh, Ephesians 2, 6 through 7. Um, also, too, believers are supposed to... as. We're not only going to be supposed to praise God for the future, for his awesome grace, but for now that he's, we praise him now for his awesome grace, that he's there for us at all times, that he's blessing us and provides for all our needs and cares for us as a father, Philippians 2.12. And also, too, we're, we're to come and understand and comprehend how deep and how wide the love of Christ is, uh, Ephesians 3. But the Bible says we'll never really understand and understand and comprehend the uh how how awesome and how great the love of god is because god can't be comprehended um that's why we're gonna have all eternity to understand him and we probably won't understand him even then but um but in other words uh there's those were the six uh tr uh characteristics of a true believer but uh number one true believers have been delivered from a spiritual death uh we're, we're now born again that's what it means to be born again we're born again to the things of god as opposed to the world they don't understand the things of god number two true believers have been delivered from a life of disobedience as unbelievers uh continue to live in disobedience they continue to live a life of sin and it's all about them and uh they don't care about the things of God. Number three, true believers have been delivered uh, from God's wrath through Christ. Uh, we are now have no condemnation from um, through Christ. We now have no condemnation from God, as God now sees us as Jesus. Uh, number four, true believers uh, experience a spiritual resurrection. Um, it means. Uh, we now have the fruits of the spirit we know we now uh can talk to god uh we now have his holy presence and spirit with us at all times number five true believers have been united to christ we have the holy spirit living in us and we have the mind of christ number six true believers will glorify god's grace in the coming ages and we glorify him now because of his grace but i uh, hope that helps you out to understand what the the six characteristics of a true believer are, of a true believer is but um it's awesome to know the things we have in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. But I hope you like this uh, devotional. Hope to make more. Amen. Amen.